welcome back to my youtube channel so as you saw by the title this video is crazy um i got a breast reduction um so yeah let's get into it um i kind of wanted to sh like share with you guys what it was like um my mom kept telling me to like film it and stuff like obviously not the surgery but like me and like getting ready up for it and like you know as i was like getting ready to go into the surgery but honestly it was so overwhelming and i was so freaking scared like i was so scared that i think vlogging would have been just like so difficult for me to like actually do but um here we are so i'm gonna just show you guys some pictures and stuff and we're just gonna talk about it so first of all i had like a couple different things before i had to do before i could actually get like approved to do the surgery the first thing i did was i went to my mom's doctor and had her like take a look at everything make sure like checked everything make sure there was no lumps or anything um then we like just kind of talked to her about like my back pain and stuff like that um because and we needed to like be like yeah she needed to be like yeah okay i think that's a good idea so she gave us like a referral to um a plastic surgery unit at a hospital and we did that and we went and met this with this one doctor and he ended up leaving so after we met up with that guy we found out that he left and then we had to go meet up with a new guy so i met up with my new surgeon he's amazing i he's great perfect thank you you know probably i don't know well i mean i don't know what would have happened if i had the other guy but you know i met that guy um and he you know checked everything out and everything was all good we had went over that there were there are um bra strap indents on my shoulders and like we talked about my back pain we were like yeah this is a great idea let's do it we had with the previous doctor surgeon that we met we had already taken pictures of everything and sent it to the insurance company and got approved i think i don't know if we actually knew if we got approved or not but we did eventually i think we did get approved for um the insurance to pay for it on or most of it um so we did that you know we were doing good so i met with him my the surgeon that did my surgery met with him once then we met with him one more time i believe and then i think we met with him maybe a third time before we did the surgery which was pre-op um and we got all set up we got all these papers these are the things we got i think this one was the one that my mom got while i was in the surgery and then this is the one we got with like pre-op so yeah those are those um i can actually show you them if you'd like um but yeah so there's kind of just like um like what to do for the surgery so i had to call like three days before and like the week before and like what to do the day before and the day of surgery and there was just like a bunch of stuff about like what it could happen or like what's going to be going on during the surgery in terms of like me breathing while i'm under anesthesia and like stuff stuff like that and just like how to deal with pain how to get good results like i had to like eat really well and eat like good proteins and stuff like i don't know how well i actually did that but that's what i had to do you know kind of just like things like that about what i should be doing at home to make sure i'm getting a good outcome so yeah eventually you know we went in for the first day like all of like the pre-ops were like pretty basic kind of just talked about like what i needed to know um and then we went in for my surgery that morning so the night before actually we found out what time i had to be in there i think it was like 11 I think and then like the surgery like started at like roughly 12 and then i think i got out at like four i really don't remember i think it's something i got but i have some pictures that i can show you guys and just like talk about like what was going on so um i absolutely hate this picture but this is me with um my gown on and like the socks that they gave me i still have the socks that they gave me and that's you know that's fun i think i was just like waiting i did they told me to put that on so i put it on i sat up there and then this is them like taking, you know, like the thing they put on your arms. I can't remember what it's called. But they did that and they gave me a bunch of warm blankets, which was fun. And then this next picture is, again, more warm blankets. But they put them on my arms so then they would be ready for the IV. And they didn't know which arm it was going to be, so it's put on both. And then this picture, you can't really like, this picture. You can kind of see the green and the green is like the light that would they would use to put up on my arm. And you could see all my veins. I'm glad this picture you didn't, didn't show any of the veins because it's kind of scary. And it was really kind of freaky looking to watch. I don't know. And that's how they use it to put in my um, IV. So a little trigger warning. This next part has this next picture. And then I'm going to put a video. Um, does have my IV 
kind of showing. The video has my IV, and then the picture, this picture, does have my IV in it. Just don't look at it, okay? Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then here's a picture of me after the surgery. I am, like, so out of it. I am laying down-ish, and I've got the warm blanket on me, and they gave me some water, and then I asked for Sprite, I'm pretty sure. And then they gave me some crackers, because I, like, hadn't eaten all day. Like, I literally hadn't eaten since then 10 o'clock the night before and it was four o'clock in the afternoon the next day so i was hungry and then here's me when i get home i still like i just look so rough um i had my hair french braided the night that morning or the night before i can't remember so it just kind of was like falling out because i just had it you know because i wanted to do that anyway i was wearing this like button up i was wearing button up sets all the entire like week first week and then I went back in the uh, about a week after the surgery and had them just like they checked everything made sure everything looked okay you know all that jazz um and they just showed everything and then I went back in for a second appointment um a little bit ago and that is when they told me that I didn't have to wear my the bra anymore I still have it I think I'm gonna wash it because it's low-key nice for if I'm doing dance classes because it is so like tight I guess so I might wear it I don't know um because it is very like it's actually a very good like tight bra that I could totally wear for dance so maybe I'll keep it but I'm currently I, I am wearing um a regular sports bra I went to Costco after they told me that and I went and bought a new bra because these ones are like really freaking nice I think the brand's like Puma I think I don't remember anyway I'm wearing that so right now and it feels so amazing and this whole like thing is just like crazy to me but it was so needed like even my all my family members like everyone was like it's so much more proportionate for your body my grandma even told me that she would have done the exact same thing if she could have so you know i'm i don't know i feel like this is the best decision i've ever made but that is like one of the big reasons why i've been gone for the last little bit um before that before the surgery my surgery was on july 15th by the way surgery is on july 15th and it has been like a little over a month um so, and when school starts next week, it'll be six weeks. Um, I don't really know what else to say. If you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me or comment down below. I didn't really, still don't know a lot. I'm still recovering. Um, my nurse said that I should be good to, like, kind of work, move into dancing again um, when school starts. And then I also am going back to work um, here tomorrow, actually. I'm going to go back to work. Um, so hopefully it all goes well. I still have to be careful about, like, lifting crazy heavy, crazy heavy things. And just, like, you know, be a little bit more careful just for the next couple weeks. But I think we're, like, we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing really well. See, y'all, y'all remember what it used to be like? I mean, maybe not like that, but this girl had some big ones. I think I'm, like, now, like, roughly a C. I don't know yet because I have to wait for all the... I will have to wait for a confirmation that all the swelling is down and I don't see my doctors again until October. So, and like they said, there'll be a couple, it might even be a couple months until like their swelling is completely gone. So who knows, it might be like a little swollen right now still. I don't really know. I'm waiting for October. I feel like in October they are going to tell me that the swelling's gone. So, we'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, bye. I'm going to log out and see you later. But yeah, I think that's about it for this video, I guess. I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I don't know a lot, but I can answer some of your guys' questions about it. Um, if you're considering it or if you just want to know, let me know. I don't know. I, I have answers. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I have so many fun videos planned. I have a prep with me video that I'm currently filming as of today. I'm wearing the same outfit from that video. So definitely look out for that one coming up right after this one, I think. I don't know. Um, and then I've got a lot of back to school videos planned and just so many fun videos planned. I'm so excited. Please subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Um, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or whenever you're watching this. Bye!